yeah, Mount Fuji is here. The actual hat looks like a mountain. Octopus balls. We both yeah, feel like that's deflated, exactly. and that's in the that's the scene from the movie. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my Japan vlogs. Today we are doing something very exciting and special. You can see Mount Fuji there behind me. Yes, we're currently on the fifth station. It's the highest level that a car can drive. So we got a tour bus. We basically booked this tour. All the information will be coming up throughout the vlog. But yeah, Mount Fuji is here. The journey from Tokyo Central to this level of Mount Fuji took about two and a half hours. We were told by the tour guide that normally it would be more like two hours but because today is a Saturday and it's a holiday as well in Japan the traffic was a little bit more but look at that it's a beautiful day as well by the way at this level even though in Tokyo Central it's about 35 degrees Celsius right now here it's more like 21 22 degrees Celsius which is perfect for me now as you watch some footage of the journey to Mount Fuji from Tokyo Central I'm going to give you a couple of facts that I learned about this mountain so it's standing at 3776 meters tall Mount Fuji is the tallest peak in Japan and it's actually three volcanoes in one and believe it or not it's actually an active volcano however the last time that it erupted was in 1707 so it's it's been a while and hopefully it won't erupt today whilst we're here. It's a sacred mountain, there's actually a little shrine nearby and it was first climbed by a monk. And one sad fact that I learned is that women were forbidden to climb Mount Fuji until 1868. So thankfully now anyone can climb it, but yeah, for a while it was only men. And obviously it's a symbol of Japan. And whilst the mountain might be standing at 3,776 meters tall, the current level that we're at is actually 2,300 meters high, which is still pretty high, let's be honest. They do also seem to have a couple of shops in here, which we might check out. We've only got about half an hour in this spot though, so we'll see. Uh, they seem to have some Fuji waters, Fuji Sunsui from Fountain Mount Fuji. Probably one of the best waters that you can get, bottled water. There's a lot of sweets. Oh my god, look at the mountain looking cute over here. Cookie over there. Um, more sweets for souvenirs. Of course, they have loads and loads of magnets. And these cute Mount Fuji plushes, look at them. Oh my god, this is adorable. Look at this hat as well. It says Mount Fuji 3,770 meters. And the actual hat looks like a mountain. I mean, very creatively done, let's be real. I low-key like how it looks as well. I mean, I'm definitely not going to have much use for it, apart from right now, on top of Mount Fuji, but look at it. It's nice, it's comfortable, it's blue, my favourite colour. But by far the most interesting thing i found here in this store is this. It's um, oxygen, apparently, that's what it says on f in front of it. And on the back, obviously all in Japanese, so what I'm gathering is that you can use this to get some good air when uh, when your oxygen levels go down so that's cool you can buy it for 1100 yen Our next stop now is currently about 12:40 p.m. The journey, obviously, from Tokyo Central to Mount Fuji was quite long. As I said, it took about two and a half hours. That's why it might feel like we haven't been to too many places so far. And it's already nearly 1 p.m., but it was because of the journey. But this place is called Oshino Shinobi no Sato, and it's apparently known as the Ninja Village. We're going to be having a hot pot lunch, which was already prepared for us when we got to our table. There's also a buffet, which we can, you know, enjoy from. And yeah, we're going to be here for 50 minutes, 5-0. So the tour is very fast-paced. We don't really stop at locations for too long. And I think, like I said, because it's a Saturday, they said we're probably going to have even less time at each location than normal. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go and get my uh, buffet food now. I'm looking forward to it. So at the buffet, they seem to have a seafood salad and I'm spotting some octopi in there. That looks quite good. There's some regular salad here as well, tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, etc. They've got some bread rolls there. I think this might be scrambled egg. And then here is a macaroni salad they've named it. There's some french fries here and chicken tempura, so just fried chicken. There's some noodles. And then this over here is octopus balls. Oh my god, look at that. Octopus balls. Now the question is, am I going to be brave enough to try it? Probably, we'll see. What did you get, Fatima? Um, I think we pretty much everything except for the octopus. <laughs> everything you have up on the octopus, I yeah. love it. The play looks very colourful. Um, my aunt went for some... Oh, she got some shrimps as well. Yes. I didn't see the shrimps. And then I decided to go for the two octopus balls. Whether or not I'm going to like them, or I'm going to be able to eat all two, who knows. They did look good though, so my cousin is very excited that I'm going to be trying octopus balls. Are you not? Yeah. <laughs> she's encouraging me. She's the one who actually I'm made me do it. I'm definitely to do it, but you should. Exactly. She's like, I'm not going to do it, but you should do it. Oh I'm my god. It, this is this is the kind of cousin you need. Also, one of my favorite things about Japan, one of many favorite things that I have, is I love their mayonnaise. It's um, Kewpie mayonnaise, I think it's called, and I've tried it before, and they have literal sachets of it at this buffet. So I picked up. Three. Might keep some for later, might use some today. Not sure if it's going to go well with octopus balls, but we'll see. It's time for the octopus ball. Firstly, look how squishy it is, even putting my fork in it. My, my cousin is laughing in the background. But um, yeah, it's cold by the way. So was the scrambled egg. The scrambled egg was also cold, like fully cold, not just like hot that had gotten cold. It was cold from the start. But um, I'm just going to have it without the mayo first and we'll see how it is. Should I? Uh, it's not bad. It's, it's fishy. It's, it's what you would expect it to taste like. It's definitely fishy. The texture is the weirdest part of it. You can see the inside if you wish to. This is what it looks like. I would say it's my, my aunt and cousin are both like... <laughs> this is definitely an acquired taste, I would say. It's honestly not too bad. Like, I would have it again, but it's definitely an acquired taste. So I'm gonna continue the two that I do have. Maybe next time, the next few bites will be with mayonnaise and the rest of the meal has been pretty good as well not like the best meal i've ever had but it's, it's nice variety and i think my favorite thing so far apart from the octopus obviously was the chicken the tempura chicken was nice it is dessert time and what did you go for fatima vanilla and matcha ice cream matcha ice cream doesn't get any more this is my first one in this trip well, first time ever trying matcha ice cream yeah Yay. Well, let me know what it's like it's good i'd rather it's not too bitter okay it's good i don't think i've ever had matcha before so but yeah uh, I hope you heard that my cousin said it's especially good if you mix the matcha with the vanilla but that is it we've only got 10 minutes to go most people have gone um, the outside area the garden apparently is meant to be a nice place to go and have a look at as well whether or not we're gonna have much time to do that who knows we literally only had about 45 minutes yeah. Well, we never got to explore the garden because <laughs> there really just wasn't any time. But it was fine. It was a small little garden, green area. We decided to just, you know, make sure we was able to eat, finish our foods instead in the few minutes that we had. Um, but we're now at the Hakona Ropeway, which is basically like a cable car. We're going to be going over the lake um, and then we're also going to go on a little pirate ship type of thing. Basically, a couple of different methods of transportation is about to come. And then eventually we're going to end up at Hakona Shrine, which is like one of the most iconic shrines in the whole of Japan. It's the red one, which you can also see in Epcot. So there you go. If I'm tired, by the way, both my, my cousin and I are like somewhat tired. We're, the jet lag is hitting us. We're unconscious. Yeah, yeah. My, my, my cousin, like, we weren't actually unconscious, but it felt like we were because we were both like in, in, in the car. We had collapse. Yeah. And we both woke up quite early as well, 6 a.m. And obviously the time zones, we're still trying to get used to it. So my mom was sitting in front of us and she took some. Should I put the photos in? I'll put a couple angle. of photos in of my, my cousin and I asleep on the bus. But are you excited to go on a cable car? Yes and no. <laughs> No, it should because, be okay. No, because I know that my blood pressure is will go to, down. Yeah, yeah will really, go up and yeah. I think it's going to go down. And then you might be I like, oh now. no, maybe uh, you should drink some water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Hakona um, ropeway is up there. We'll see you up there somewhere.
Well, after a little cable car journey, we have made it to Owakudani Valley, which you can kind of see there behind me. There's a very strong smell here because this area is a volcanic um, valley, basically. And so the smell of sulfur is very strong, um, very strong, in fact. You can't really get away from it. But the views are beautiful. It's really cool to actually see the volcanoes and the smoke coming out of them. The views, as you can see, are endless. And there's one over there. You can see the smoke. They have a little shop over there, maybe a restaurant. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few of them. That's why it's called the Volcanic Valley, I guess. So yeah, we're going to be here for the next, I think, 45 minutes, they've said. Probably one of our longest stops so far, which is great. Um, it's just trying to get used to the smell. It's, it's cool to be able to experience it, though. I don't think I've ever been so close to so many volcanoes around me. I have been to Iceland before and actually that's a little plug for my old vlog. I went to Iceland back in 2021. If you want to check the vlog out, I'll leave it down below. They obviously have loads of natural things in Iceland as well. We did quite a lot of tours, my friend and I. This is really cool to see as well. And those over there are the cable cars that we just took. Look at that. And loads and loads of smoke literally coming from all around this area. My aunt is going to see if she can get us a kuramatago, which apparently is a black egg, which is meant to prolong your life. So obviously, <laughs> I think we both might need that, <laughs> considering how we both feel quite under the weather. We just feel a bit not, not the best. Jet lagged. Jet lagged. The heat's not helping. <laughs> Today has just not been the great in terms of how we're feeling. Thankfully, my aunt is doing well, your mum. She's, she's okay today. Um, but yeah, you go on. Sorry, I have to say, there is a scene in a SpongeBob SquarePants movie. The yeah. The oldest one. Okay. And there is uh, one of the last scenes is where Patrick and SpongeBob are drawing out. And this is how I think. Yeah, you're definitely SpongeBob and Patrick. I've not yeah, seen the movie. She's, you're pink. I'm wearing pink yes, today yeah. and I'm we feel dried out. We both yeah, feel like that's deflated. Exactly. And that's in the that's the scene from the movie yeah, SpongeBob. That's exactly what's happening. Let us know if you've seen that <laughs> film and then can relate hopefully to our literal feelings at the moment. But having said that, the views are great, right? It's great. This is the first time you've seen a volcano, would you say? Yes. Yeah, probably my second time because I, as I said in Iceland I saw a couple but not this many and all kind of in the same area, which has been really cool. No, and it's really beautiful. It is. It's stunning. The views are stunning. The smell is very strong as well though, isn't it? Mm, it's sulfur. Yeah, it's sulfur, exactly. And, and it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the thing yellow. that comes out of it, yeah. yeah. We just filled up our water bottles with apparently special Hakona water. It's meant to bring you good luck. We haven't actually drunk them yet. We're going to probably drink them later on back in the bus, but hopefully it will bring me. I need some luck. I feel like the past couple of years have been quite unlucky for me, so it'd be nice to have some good luck my way.
Although maybe I already am lucky because even before trying this, which I already have by the way, it tastes just like regular water, just nice and fresh. Maybe I'm already lucky because I'm here in Japan with my cousin <laughs> and my aunt who's currently sitting in front of us. Oh, let's like, do that one more time, aunt. Yay! We, are, we have now more or less completed the tour. We've only got one more thing left to do, which is what the bullet train, Shinkansen, to return, to return back to central Tokyo, which is a great way to kind of end it. Otherwise, I think on the bus it would have taken much longer. So it's going to be our first experience of a Shinkansen. Okay. Yay! But did you find, did you enjoy the tour? Yes. Yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot. Um, in a short amount of space, so we got to see so many cool things, so many historical things. We got to see Mount Fuji, like, and our tour guide was phenomenal. She was fantastic. Thanks to you, your uh, uh, user activity uh, behavior is good. That's why uh, uh, Mount Fuji appeared. Uh, it was <laughs> not uh, expected today. Uh, uh, as you know, typhoon is uh, approaching, so uh, it's a very difficult to compare situation. But uh, it, it uh, appeared. It's uh, thanks to you. Oh. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. <laughs> ありがとう。So it has been a couple of weeks, I am now back in London, we're actually having very much a heat wave, it's currently 30 degrees Celsius even here in London, yes, not much of a difference to how it was in Japan, but I thought I'd quickly chat about the tour a little bit because I said I would earlier in the vlog. The tour was really good, it took most of the day, I think we had to set off at around 7am and we didn't get back to our hotel until probably close to like 8pm, 7.30am, so it was a long day but we got to see a lot outside of Tokyo so I think because of that it was worth it. We booked a tour through Get Your Guide which is where you can book loads of tours. I've used them before for many tours where I've gone to different cities around the world and it costs around £100 each which I think it was worth it in the end because like I said we got to see a lot and we managed to cram a lot of areas outside of Tokyo like Mount Fuji, Hakone Shrine etc in just one day and if you're short on time then I think it's definitely worth it and of course you've got the bus as well. Our tour guide was fantastic, really lovely, very informal very knowledgeable the bus was comfortable it was air con so that was good they also gave us fans to keep which was nice and actually something that I thought was quite clever is that on the back of the fans they had the phone number and information of the company that we'd booked the tour from which meant that if we did get lost or if we were running behind which thankfully none of us did but if we needed it then we had it there on the fan I thought that was quite a clever touch the only thing I would say is that we didn't have enough time at each location unfortunately especially I found Mount Fuji we really only had about half an hour there and I think they did actually kind of make it a little bit less than normal as well because there was so much traffic they wanted to make sure we get everywhere so they gave us even less time than normally they would during the tour but it was fine like I said it's one of those things where if you have longer in Japan and if you want to spend like a day exploring Mount Fuji then you definitely can like I feel like everywhere that I went I could have easily spent a whole day there like Hakone Shrine especially 
I could have spent hours there whereas we only probably got about 40 minutes or so which was a shame but like I said that's what you have to do if you've only got limited amount of time in Japan we only had two weeks overall in the country so we just wanted to try and see as many things as possible so I think it's a good option but just bear in mind that you're not going to get a lot of time in each location so if that's the problem for you then perhaps that might not be the best tour for you and there might be other options on get your guy that you might find my aunt did get us some melon bread from mount fuji which my cousin and i tried when we got back to the hotel that evening and it was lovely my first time trying melon bread apparently it's quite a big thing in japan um loved it really delicious and make sure you stay tuned because when we go to tokyo disneyland in a few days time we try the mike wazowski melon bread there as well and that was phenomenal so yeah that was good when we got back actually from the tour we went to our hotel restaurant there was a couple of restaurants at the keio plaza hotel we went to one that was like a japanese restaurant and we had some wagyu beef again and a couple of other food items it was delicious it was a nice way to end the night we didn't have enough energy to go out and venture into the city again after a long day but yeah i think that's it i do want to give a big thank Thank you for your love and support on the vlog so far i think i've got about five vlogs from japan already on the channel so far and the next vlog coming up we are going to be heading towards disneyland at the end of the day so make sure you're subscribed for that that should be coming either tomorrow or the day after and then there'll be like i don't know a week of just disneyland vlogs which i cannot wait to share with you it is very hot here i don't understand what's going on we're in like i don't know i think it's like the 8th of september at the moment and like i said 30 degrees celsius in london whereas most of the summer in london was actually kind of cool and rainy so the weather's just doing whatever it wants but no i appreciate you i really really do and if you want to see some photos of my trip as well instagram's where to go and also don't worry if you're missing the disneyland paris content loads of disneyland paris videos will be coming as well to the channel at the beginning of october for the halloween season so i will see you in the next one bye